Today, I bought another old school collection. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video. Today, inside of this box right here, we have an old school collection that contains an old deck and a lot of awesome rarity cards. You guys are gonna love it, but first we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these three cards. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know your favorite card from this collection. There's a lot of awesome ones to choose from. All right, let's open this thing up and see what is inside. There's some pretty cool stuff. I did get a little preview of what's in it. He kind of sent me a mini video on what he was sending us. So I'm pretty excited to show you guys. So first of all, we have the Lost Art Monster Reborn and Exodia set, which is, this is pretty awesome. It's pretty new. You know, it just came out in 2019, 2020, stuff like that. I think this was the first one ever, which this is one of the coolest Lost Arts they've ever done. So that's really cool to pick up. And then the entire Exodia set, very, I mean, pretty cool start, but there's a lot better stuff coming. Next, we have a deck box with a few cards. And I don't remember what exactly this is. This is like the Necro Garden, uh, Book of Moon. This is from Turbo Pack. That's pretty cool. Blockluster Soul. Soldier Envoy at the beginning, Wolf Lightsworn Beast from Light of Destruction. We have the Destiny Hero Fearmonger, the Destiny Hero Malicious. This is a pretty expensive card, still a pretty good card even to this day, which is pretty crazy. We have a Destiny Draw right there, pretty awesome. The Dasher, we've got Lumina, Mizuki. Oh, this is the deck, actually, I think. Beckoning Light. Yeah, okay, so here is an old-school Lightsworn deck. Okay, it wasn't in order, so I wasn't sure what it was. Celestia, the Lightsworn Angel. That's an ultimate rare. Dark Arm Dragon. This is just the tin version, but very cool. So this is like an old-school Lightsworn deck, which is pretty amazing. Breakthrough Skill's that old. I didn't realize that. Honest from Dual Terminal is pretty cool. It's not that expensive, but it's cool. Another Destiny draw. We got Raigeki in here. This is from Legend of Blue Eyes. Has that classic shifting up there. Allure of Darkness. We got the Beckoning Light. These are from Turbo Pack, which is pretty nice. They're like $35, I think, which is pretty insane. Destiny draw. He's playing three of these. Garoth Lightsworn Warrior. This is also from Turbo Pack. Here's a really cool one. A Judgment Dragon. Okay, there's two of them, actually. First Edition. So he's playing two First Edition Secret Rare Judgment Dragons. So this is pretty nice. This card definitely it has a little bit of a bend going to it. Yeah, so got some damage going there. Pretty nice, but uh, unfortunately not great condition there, but pretty cool card. Let's see if the other one's any better. The next one we have is, well, this one's a lot nicer. Okay, so this one's pretty clean. Okay, the, uh, never mind. The back, the back is bent. Okay, pretty cool card, but a little bit bent there, unfortunately. Pretty nice. Then we have the Chaos Sork. Let's see what condition these are in. This is Turbo Pack, so this one's pretty expensive if it's near mint. Okay, back looks. Wow, this one's actually pretty nice. So this one is pretty close to near men, actually, which is pretty cool. Maybe a little bit of whitening right there. Yeah, but not perfect, but I definitely could use this, you know, maybe one of my goat decks or something like that. There's also a second Chaos Sorcerer. So let's see if this one is in equally as good condition. That'd be nice. We have the Chaos Sork. Maybe I saw something up there. I can't tell. But on the bottom, yeah, a little bit of whitening going there. Um, back looks fairly clean. This is probably like light play or something like that. Pretty nice card, though. Very, very cool. All right, Parasite, Parasite. We got the Luminelith. Is there anything else cool? First edition LODT. He said he pulled this one. Solar Recharge Ultimate Rare. We've got the Plague Spreader Zombie. Very cool. Lumina Lightsworn Summoner. Solar Recharge Ultimate. Celestia. Destiny Hero Malicious. Solar Recharge Necrogarna. This is a Charge of the Light Brigade. This is unlimited, but it is from the Duelist Genesis, which is pretty sick. Charge of the Light Brigade has one of the best looking shines ever. Like, it looks absolutely insane. And this card is just insanely good. Wow. This card's pretty nice. Okay, that card's pretty close to near mint, which is pretty cool. And then we have uh, Lila. We've got Lila, Jane, Necrogardena, and a Foolish Burial. That's a dual terminal. That's actually pretty sick Foolish Burial. So that's a pretty cool deck. I mean, that just really brings you back to the old school days for the most part. I mean, why? Okay, these are just randomly in here. Those are not in the decks, by the way. That's just uh, the new stuff, but pretty sick old school deck. Oh, we also have a note that I missed. So here we go. Hey, Ruxin, thanks for taking in my collection. This is some of the rarest cards I have spanning 20 years of Yu-Gi-Oh! Collecting competitive play and bonding with my brothers and friends. I hope you can enjoy this small collection. Please take good care of my secret rare Honest. He said he did pull it. Uh, he is one of my absolute favorite monsters. One mini duels together. Thanks again, your friend Hilario Perez at K Ninga. I don't know how to say that, to be honest. All right, so we almost, glad we didn't miss that because, uh, yeah, I didn't see that at first. Then we have another deck box. Here's the other stuff he sent us. These are, this is not included in the deck, just some other collected cards. All right, we have Infernity Mirage, Infernity Launcher, the Stygian Surgeons, Sur Surgeons, the Stygian Surgeons, the Infernity Doom Dragon. It's the Sigean Street Patrol, Street Patrol, the Driven Daredevil, Blade Armor Ninja, Leviar the Sea Dragon, that's a pretty big card. Shooting Star Dragon, First Edition Ghost Rare. That's, I mean, that's one of the best cards you can get. Let's check out the condition on this. Let's see what this thing's looking like. All right, the surface looks pretty good. A little bit, a couple scratches, but that's pretty normal for Ghost Rares, you know, right out of the pack. 
Top left, definitely bent, unfortunately. It's got a, a bend on there. Back surface is pretty clean, so... Yeah, I mean, with that bend, unfortunately, because, like, it's actually pretty good besides that. Probably, like, I don't know. It's hard to say with a bend like that. It's because it's pretty significant, but that's, like, it. That's pretty much it. A couple scratches, but pretty nice card overall. And we got the Drill Warrior. That's for those Edison decks. Pretty cool. Nitro Warrior, the Dragon Master Knight. Wait, what is this? Compulsory Evacuation Device. Okay, the Beatron Ulti, the Anishi Ulti. We got the Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Tiger King. We got the Six Samurai Shien, another cool one. Ooh, and here we go. We got the Black Rose Dragon Ulti and the Stardust Dragon Ghost Rare. So let's look at the Black Rose first before we hop into the Stardust Dragon Ghost Rare because they are pretty nice, but let's check out both of them. Okay, a little bit of uh, something going on right there, if you guys can see that. Back is, wow, pretty clean. Pretty clean overall on this card. A pretty nice Black Rose for sure. Unlimited, but still pretty amazing, even if it's unlimited. And then, of course, the Stardust Dragon. I don't know what, what to expect for Stardust Ghost Rare. It's going to be tough to be in great shape, but... Wow, the foiling it looks at least looks amazing. Uh, top does have some whitening there. A little bit of a corner ding right there. But the foil does look pretty good, though. I mean, check that out. That card looks absolutely amazing. You love to see this, no matter if it's unlimited or first edition. Oh, and there's a big old crease in it. Ah, what a bummer. Okay, yeah, that's unfortunate. So, yeah, this guy is going to go probably in the heavy play category because of that, that big old crease, but still a pretty amazing card either way. Stardust Dragon, you'll love to see it. Such a pretty card. All right, what do we got in the rest here? We got Mistworm, we got Gungnir, we've got the Scrap Dragon, Photon Strike Bouncer, the Tyrant Red Dragon, Blast Sphere. Um, we've got Dark Dust Spirit, Neo Flamvel, Blue Eyes Shiny Dragon from the movie, Blue Eyes Ultimate Question, Cyber Dragon, Super Rare, Original from the, uh, what's it called? I was about to say the 10, from the set, Cybernetic Revolution. There we go. Crush Card Virus. This card was the one that was super crazy expensive back in the day. It's still pretty valuable, I think, but I think it was like 300 bucks or something at the time. Pretty insane. So let's check out the value, on, or at least the condition on this, because... I don't think I've ever actually owned one of these, so this is pretty cool. Oh, yeah, we got some dings in there. Unfortunate. Yeah, some dings going through there, unfortunately. Yeah, unfortunate, but still pretty cool. I mean, that's a really nice-looking version of it, too. One day, we'll have the prize card. Okay, we won't. We're never going to have it. It's too expensive. All right, then we have a Sangan Hobby League. That's really cool. Torrential Tribute Hobby League. Effect Veilers are always nice. I mean, even back then, Effect Veiler was such an old card. It's kind of crazy how old it is, and it's still pretty good to this day. By the way, if you guys are watching this and you haven't checked out the Twitch stream, go check it out because I've been doing Twitch streams almost every single day, about five days a week. Check out the link in the description and uh, come watch a live stream. It's been fun. All right, let's continue this. we got the White Stone of Legend, also an Old card this came out in, in crossroads of chaos originally we got the droll and lockbird pretty big poly a lot of uh legendary collection kaiba so i guess he opened one of those uh gold the phoenix wing wind blast the ancient artifact sanctum seeker rare fissure hobby league anti-spell fragrance a very good card in this current meta mind controls we got the ghost reaper and winter cherries trade in monster incarnation the guido grado <laughs> The Greedo Grad is a funny card. I mean, he's got three of them. I mean, it's pretty old too, Ancient Prophecy. All right, funny. We've got the Blue Boy, the Spellbook, the White Moray, the Time Maiden, Dustopia. So this is more newer stuff. I think he did get a few newer things. The Cypher Dragon. We've got the uh, Kurt and Razor. It's funny how Battles of Legend uh, Light's Revenge is actually really old at this point. So really, it's not that new. All this is from Light's Revenge. Double Evolution Pill for the, my Dino deck. You'll love to see it. We got the Mirror Force Dragon, Doom Virus Dragon, Blazing Mars, Flower Cardian, Wolf, Lightsworn Beasts, Tyrant Wing, Doom Caliber Knight is actually pretty good for Edison, and Dragoonity Phalanx. Okay, we got a few more cards in here. All right, let's see. Z Metal Tank, Goddess, we got Blue Eyes Twin Burst, we got the Blue Eyes White Dragon, Shadow Tune, Guide Dragon, Time Maiden, Time Magic, Hammer, we got the number 62, Miracle Contact, Sadion. So, so this is a lot of Battles Legend Lights Revenge stuff. Mermail Abistius, which at this point is not really worth too much, but there's some decent cards in the set. So this wasn't a huge collection, but there's some just really awesome cards that I wanted you guys to see. Like all of this stuff is just really, really cool. So I wanted to show it to you guys. Even though this isn't going to be the longest video ever, I figured you guys would appreciate some ghosts, some uh, Turbo Pack Chaos Sorcerers for those GOAT format decks and all you GOAT fans out there. This is a card I've never showed off on my channel because we haven't actually hunted for this out of Gold Series 1. It'd be kind of fun, but the boxes are like $400. So I don't know if it's worth it or not. I don't know why I have this. The Inferno Mirage actually like used to be a 30 dollars super rare though so it used to be a lot if you guys enjoyed this collection video make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content like this shout out to tcg trust cards stone Fall show tomato juice daxter jt cho clayton fitzgerald 87 brett palmer puffins of doom stanley mimic echo ian musa junior barding john nolan and an show thank you guys for supporting the channel and i'll see you guys next time peace